Tisk, tisk, tisk. Look at you. Uncultured. <laughs> Unsophisticated. <laughs> no. I can Middle be sophisticated. Class. <gasps> no, don't speak. You'll just make me throw up. I'd say cover up with this dinner jacket, but I'm afraid that you'd get your head stuck in the sleeve and asphyxiate. Help, I'm stuck. Listen, lowball. Don't you want to be oh, fine? I do. Don't you want to be fancy? Oh, like yes. That's French. I don't expect you to know what it means. <laughs> But I have some good news. Before this financial year ends, I have decided to make a charitable deduction. It's you, champ. For you see, I... Can have premarital oh. sex. Nice. I have made several Wait, videos, go back. though. Go which back. will show you how to bluff your way to the inner circle. <laughs> Undetected. Yes. By the time the elites find out... Neon Genesis Evangelion is psychological oh my and God. intense. It will be too late. I get you in, <laughs> you eat all your doughs, and we get out. Hell That's yeah. That's the plan. Perfect. And let's begin your Free instruction food. with... Theater. <gasps> the YouTube premium of upper society. Ooh. And the first section? Symphony. <laughs> That's definitely the wrong way. The first period the of performance, Nokia that's family. called Baroque, from 1600 to 1750. This featured Bach and Vivaldi. Oh, Bach! Now, there was also a guy named Giuseppe Tartini, and he was the best one of them all, because one evening he had a dream. Wow. Where the devil showed up and presented him with a deal. <laughs> the devil would become his teacher and impart on him everything he knew about music. Yes. Once Tartini had learnt everything he could, he handed over his violin and asked the devil to play. Damn! The devil played the greatest musical piece that Tartini had ever heard. <gasps> Tartini woke up with a gasp, and he tried to recreate what he had heard in the dream. And what he wrote down was his most famous piece, the best thing he had ever written. And he said, this is shite compared to the original. This is nothing better than a tribute. And that's where you get the Tenacious D song from. He named this piece, The Devil's Trill. And he claimed that the difference between his version and the version in the dream was so great that he would have smashed his violin and quit music forever Wow. And not needed it for it was job. that good? He fucking he made the best piece of all time and said, Hell no, I'm out of here now. Just smash this is intro. I'm done. Nobody can beat me. Classical, 1750 to 18. What a chad. Mozart and Beethoven show up like da 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 da. Now, Beethoven was famously known for going deaf. Once that happened, everyone told him that he should just quit music forever. But he just wouldn't hear it. Anyway, there's so much I could say about these two. Uh, romantic <laughs> era. Now that's when everybody started kissing, and it's my nice. favorite. Nice. Great piece. This is when men Mwah. became real oh, you men. you played wonderfully too. Mwah. We also enjoyed listening. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. All you need to know about this one <laughs> is Chopin and Berlioz. Berlioz, however, was not getting chopin. any kisses. Chopin. He was relatably chopin is great. I love chopin. Living alone in Paris, the city of love. So here's how it started. He's there and he's in his early twenties and he is looking for a new GF. So one day he attends. Did a you start playing RuneScape? Play, and on stage he spots an actress Ooh. and he immediately falls in love Ooh. with her. Wow. He wrote her many notes confessing his love but her DMs went unreplied. <laughs> so he began writing a symphony about her. Ah, how can she ignore this? And also around this time, he started smoking a lot of opium, but don't worry about that. Anyway, so he wrote this piece just for her. However, his DM still went unreplied. For several months, he started to get quite disheartened. <sighs> Until he saw another girl. So he immediately fell in love with her instead. He and is just a uh, sim. He just finds any girl and he's like, I'm in love, baby. 
Wow. Dude, you know what? I'm going to change that symphony I wrote. So now it's about this <laughs> other lady and not about that other Base. one that I didn't like anyway. This time, happily, she reciprocated and they fell in love and were set to marry. Da, da, da. Suddenly, what the fuck? Phones haven't been invented yet. Yes, hello. I'm busy. Oh, Rome to study? Absolutely. I'll catch the first flight out. Is he just going to leave his wife? He's going to be like, hey, fuck this shit. <laughs> so Berlioz went to Rome to study music. However, while he was away, he got some news. Berlioz, I have to tell you something. Oh no, she cheated. Sacre blue. Some other more handsome musician swooped in and married his girl Damn. while he was in Rome and they ran away <laughs> together. Berlioz oh, was shit. furious. And he set his mind to solving the problem. I know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna murder her. What? And her lover. And her mom. And what then I'm mom? gonna do a self murder. Damn. All right, so this gets pretty elaborate. His idea is to dress up as a housemaid. He has bought both poison and two guns. Now he is going to sneak into the house of his ex fiance <laughs> I feel like this is a, a already an anime plot. Like this is perfect. What is going on? Okay. And there she and her mother will be sipping tea, which he has already poisoned. Then he will f pull off the clothing and reveal himself. Blam, blam, sad overture. So he heads back home to Paris to do it. But while on his travels there, you know, takes quite a while. He has to change carriages. And when he does that, he leaves the guns in one of the... How do you fuck up this badly? How? Isn't this important? Little cubbies. So he's lost all his weapons. What is he going to do now? I don't know, buy new well, ones. his next leg on the stop is Genoa, and he decides, you know what, let's just skip the murder and go straight to the finale. So well, he stops off in the port city of Genoa, and he's there at the side of the Mediterranean. He pauses for a moment. No guns, no himself. poison, no fun. Now, some people see this whole thing happen, and they think he's had an accident, so they run in to try <laughs> to save him. They, they can't pull let him, him to die. The he lived. So he is now. Don't tell me this is not like an anime plot. This guy finds a girl. He falls in love with her. She ignores his DMs, his letters. And he writes a song about her to impress her. He finds another girl. He changed up the song because this girl, wow, fuck the other girl. <laughs> He goes to Rome, leaves the love of his life, and she yeets out with somebody else. <laughs> he has a plan to kill them both and her mom, but forgets the weapons and the poison. And then decide, you know what? I suck at life. I give up. I'm going to kill myself. And he tries to kill himself and people save him. Bro, this man is just, this is E-Rob. This man life is filled with L's. Holy shit. Reached his lowest point. He dejectedly continues home. He gets back to Paris and he wallows around, feeling pretty sorry for himself. But he decides- Is the marriage the lifeguard now, Paul? You know what? <laughs> I may as well do what I do in. best in times of trouble. Smoke a lot of opium. And while I do that... Get high, baby! Just get high! Let's go! I shall write a symphony. Although I ain't gonna name it after that hoe who stole my heart. <laughs> I, I feel like when you listen to these old, like, people in the old days, all they were doing is, like, getting high and making art. I love it. Just being, like philosophy and shit and just getting high wow and so he went back to work but here's the thing 
It was the greatest piece he had ever written, and it premiered to a huge crowd. And you know what? It was a smash hit. Nice. Number one on iTunes. But then, and here's a bloody plot twist. Remember the first girl? Yeah. Well, she attended that concert, and she realized that Berlioz was a genius. And then she wrote a letter to your boy saying how good your bloody symphony was, and what? sorry about not what are the I odds? just put my phone down and got super busy or whatever. By the way, I love you. And so Berlioz goes, well, I love you too. And a year later, they were married. Hell yeah. That's uh, a beautiful moral of the oh, story. Wow. See, fellas, don't jump in the Mediterranean. There you go. It See, that means, you know what? Things will be all right. If everything went all right for him, it will be all right for you. Get those negative thoughts out of your head. Gold digger, it doesn't matter. He's happy. <laughs> anyway, a few years later, they got divorced. Because weirdly, <laughs> he cheated on his wife with the housemaid. Base. Not that one. A different one. But Why? then he married that housemaid. <laughs> Hooray. But then when he died later on, for some reason, he gets buried with both of them. It's kind of strange. Two but, wives. Uh, Moving on to the Impressionist what a man. musicians. Now that's Claude de... The what now? The bussy. Claude de what? You know what? You'd better go to ad time. All right, guys. <laughs> welcome back that to the That is the perfect time stream. to put in that. I was talking about bussy. Today we're playing Assassin's Creed 3. Chat, chat. Come on, you. chat, chat, chat. Hey, oh, everyone's Nord. spamming Nord in the Shut chat. Shut up, and Nord. I love the bussy. Oh, Everybody loves follower. the bussy. Hey, welcome to the Dream Team Sub Cream. Uh, thank you so much for the great. To see. Oh, thank you I for thought. the Sub Cream. Sorry, guys. The cleaners are here. Sorry, just just ignore Any the mess. Any creamers in chat want to sub? I haven't cleaned up these bottles yet. Holy. No, it's, it's just tea. It's just tea. What is happening? <sighs> I just I stream for ten hours a day and. It's like the algorithm is against me or something. I'm kind of impressed that Nord still sponsor people. And I'm not getting any new followers. I'm playing the games. What more do you want me to do? Just a quick word from the sponsor. NordVPN is the VPN that you can trust. So go to nordvpn.com slash internet historian for a huge deal on a two-year plan plus four bonus months for free plus a 30-day money-back guarantee. My God. Today, we are going to be watching the new Snow White movie. I love the intro. Oh, I love seeing that Disney logo. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. You've never Guys, seen I'm it. Guys, I'm just going to get up and get some food. I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. Perfect way to watch the movie. Just leave. Don't watch it. <laughs> what the f***? Who reported my stream? Is this the porn one? I have no idea. Though. Hello, my Nordlings. Welcome back to the stream. Can we get some ends in the chat, guys? Can we not? Like, not. Bro. Can we get some ends in the. Oh my god, dude. Like that. Mods! Mods! <laughs> Mods! <laughs> ASMR stream for Oh he's a VTuber VPN. now. He's Today ASMR. I'm gonna be drinking a, a can of Coke while I say the word Nord. Ah Nord. Hey, wow. Thank you for the tier three sub. No problem. With Nord VPN I can be outside my house, Jack's Films house, Samito's house, Jack's ordinary house. things house. Just like that. Welcome back to the hot tub stream. What do you guys mean? How many hot dogs can I put in my mouth? Why? I'll just... Oh my god. $5,000 donation. Thank you so much. You guys are such good friends. When's uh, he stream? Streaming. I had someone come up and ask and say that. I had some guy or girl. I don't fucking know. I've had weird messages, man. I think being a VTuber has like... You, you sometimes get some wild messages. I don't think I'll do a uh, uh, ASMR stream because what was that donator's name? Wait, what? Not for me. So I'll just. Oh my god, five thousand. Gel Quing, my VP. 
Five thousand dollars. Holy dollars shit! Donation. Thank you so much. You guys are such. Thank good you. Friends. Oh my not for god! Me. Thank you. Go Thank you for the donation. Any Oilers in chat? Want to? I'll months? do that for free. <laughs> and over. Let me step. <laughs> Let me get up and show my butt. Watching Netflix, are you? <gasps> All tucked in with a three-hour essay on good game good, and here's why. Fallout New Vegas is actually the only based Bethesda game. Turn that off. I've got something Gel for you. Much I don't know what that is. What is that? And far more expensive. We're going to the theater. Wow. No, theater. don't Google. Okay. From the ancient Greek, Theatron. The most dramatic of the Transformers. <laughs> it means a place for viewing. Here's a Roman theatre. <laughs> they were quite simple back then. You have the stage, the auditorium, and the vomitorium. Now, for a very long time, people thought that the vomitorium was a place where the Romans would gorge themselves, where they would eat so much that they would throw up and then gorge themselves again because they were so decadent and or bulimic. But it comes from the word vomir, which means to spew forth, because that's where people go in and out. So vomitorium is just a dramatic way of saying the entrance. Now, if you skip forward to the 1800s, things are getting a lot more modernized, but they still didn't have electric. So wow. they had what's called the limelight. And that's why they say to be in the limelight, to be the star of the show. What they would do was take a piece of quick lime and heat it up super, super hot, which will naturally glow very bright. They would then take reflective mirrors and lenses to focus the beam. That and they is would use smart. that as an early form of the oh. spotlight. The limelight is not because it's green. My president. It's made from quick lime. In the modern day, things are a lot more advanced and they can do all sorts of cool shit with like lasers going into your eyeballs and all sorts of stuff. But it's not just the tech that's had Death. an upgrade, it's the architecture as well. In Elizabethan times, they had the yard and you could get in here for about a penny a piece. And this is where all the poor people stood to watch the shows. It's like when you go to Oppenheimer and you end up with the worst seats in the IMAX theater, right? But thankfully, in well, I gotta times, watch that movie. we have fixed that problem. We kicked out all the poor people and we sunk the floor down low. Hey! And put in an orchestra pit. Now these things are usually 6 to 12 feet deep. So they're not obstructing the audience's view. But having a giant hole at the end of a stage is quite dangerous. <laughs> so usually they put a big net there as well. And yet a lot of people still get pitted. Like a lot of people. In Can't they just have like something on the edge that, you know, like something, just like some small things on the edge. So the actor knows that this is, the, are you gonna fall here? 11. During a production of The Sound of Music, one of the lead actresses fell into the orchestra pit and was left paralyzed from the waist down. In 2009, Jesus. A not a superconductor, just a regular one, fell 14 feet into the dark pit and broke nine vertebrae and one ankle. Mamma mia. And he Mama fell into the pointy indeed. conducting thing. At the Bolshoi Theater, a violinist died from his injuries after falling into the pit. I mean, he this was 65. This theater is all sorts of accidents, by the way. It's kind of cursed. But performers and musicians aren't the only ones falling Can you imagine him falling on top of the back of your head? An Would you die then? A 82 year old man fell from his balcony box seat <laughs> all the way he down he was into the pit. Look at this guy sneaking out. fell from his Ow. balcony box <laughs> seating all the way down into the pit during a performance of Macbeth. He died. No shit. Very spooky. Even already dead people He's are haunting getting the pitted. place now. In 2016, a man sprinkled his friend's ashes into the orchestra pit at the Met Theatre. Why? This happened during the intermission, and it was a sort of tribute to a mentor of his. But of course, people went, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and he goes, oh, I don't know. And he flees the scene. He eats out. Everyone's coughing and sneezing up dead guy. And people think... Is this anthrax? What is this? So they call in the anti-terrorism police and the whole show is canceled for the rest of the evening. Bro, what the hell? A quick intermission. Or is it?
Ooh, Finity D. I am the Trap Master. Uh, not like that. Do not ask me to reveal my secrets. <laughs> not the good kind of trap. I have dedicated my life to the mysteries of the theater. Ah, Who the, the hell theater. is that? She was pretty. She has so many enigmatic wow. traps. Let us start with the most simple yet devious. The wall trap. Wait, when is he going to go back to the Bussy? Oh, we are with the trap the master, piece. so maybe ah, we'll get into it. Go? Nobody. There are some Debussy. Cast your eyes over here to the genie trap. Now the victim stands on this dumb waiter, and a counterweight launches Ooh. their hapless body up onto the stage. Whish. <laughs> In the olden days, this circle of flaps would sometimes go on top, and then that would make the whole thing just one way. Now back when they made this thing, they didn't have hydraulics. So instead they'd have like six stage hands pulling as fast as they could. And sometimes it would go totally wonky, or it wouldn't open properly. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. Or they'd only get about halfway through. Oh, shit. Oh, Ow. well, I guess that's it. There's only two. <laughs> Wrong. This is the vampire trap. And if I want to come back up again, this is called the sunroof trap. Very cool. Watch out for the closing doors on this one. It managed to trap Spider-Man's foot back in a production in 2013. <laughs> Me and the Green Goblin, we collabed on this one. All right, there's one more. The Ghost Glide. What you do is stand on this slide of it, and it ascends diagonally, which makes it look like he's coming out of the ground. But the ladies are there yawning, and they're going, ooh, short ghost. But then... Wait a minute. Foot, he's growing. Ooh. Five foot two. Oh. All the ladies are turning their heads now. I five like foot what three, I'm seeing. Five foot four. Five foot And they're like, ah, oh, fuck. All the ladies are loving it. The now, I bet you're wondering, five? what happens to the actors when they go down these traps? Are they dead and gone forever? Ah. Yes, sometimes. In 1888, Frederick Federici was playing the role of Mephistopheles in Faust at the Princess Theatre in Melbourne. As he descended the trap at the end of the play, goodbye everybody, goodbye. He had a heart attack and died. What? Never seen again. So as you can imagine, with this many deaths, the theater has become- I mean, at least he went with a bang. Place. Oh yes. In fact, sometimes you can put your ear right up to the wall and you can hear two male ghosts wrestling. Can't fake that. Um, ah. I I don't think those are male ghosts, but yeah. And you can hear two male ghosts uh -huh. wrestling. Can't fake that. I, uh, ah, <laughs> I another ghost that. hole. I don't know. Don't Ooh, a ghost hole. I, I wonder what comes out. Guys, what, what will come out of the ghost hole, guys? <laughs> ah, another ghost hole. Don't look inside. I did once. Almost went blind. That's why I wear the mask. Anyway, because of all the ghosts, the theaters okay. do whatever they can to keep the spirits happy. See this? That definitely keeps the spirits happy. Light. When everything is closed, it is kept on always. Kept on for the ghosts, so that they don't you know, bump their shins in the dark or whatever. Mm. At the Palace Theatre in London, there has been some ghostly activity. It seems to be bit of a hot spot for ghostly activities. And that's why they always keep two empty seats at the back so that the ghosts may sit there and watch the show. So that's why we traditionally kept a couple of seats off sale for the ghosts. However, Harry Potter is so popular that we, we sell those seats now. Oh. Oh, wait, what about the ghosts? Also, most theatres close for one day per week. And on those days, the ghosts are left to perform for each other <laughs> in their own shows. Which Damn. they like, we think. I was worried about my own vagina. Wow. Oh, finally, the vagina monologue. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you know, I wasn't always part of the elite. In fact, Thank God we're talking about vaginas age, now. I grew up in an orphanage. Oh no. No, no, my parents weren't dead. Rent in that building was just really cheap. But my parents showed me no affection. And as soon as they could, they sent me off to boarding school. But boards were always their passion, not mine. Yeah. I tried to run away, but they caught me. 
And boy, did they throw the book at me. Alas, I did not dodge in time. I spent the next few years in a coma. A Native American town, Pueblo Acoma. And the people there taught me how to read American. How they to read American, good. Oh yeah, brother. I spent my days buried, buried in books. Learning as much as English I could shit. about the arts. <laughs> and <laughs> once someone noticed me. <laughs> is that how to become a streamer book? So had a local or how library. to be good at, what and is I it, Fortnite? I don't remember what it buried, is. Buried, buried in books. Learning as yeah, from one of the leading Fortnite players in the world. Wow, okay. Much as I could about the arts. And once someone noticed me buried hey, Shari, under those books and they rescued me. I knew I wanted to teach default character presets like yourselves. All about Shakespeare. It is his note. I started Googling Shakespeare and I got kind of distracted. So, I don't know, here's, here's a WAV file. Do something with this. Put him in like a classroom or something. Let's get the dub. <laughs> All right, attention, everybody. I am your new teacher. From American to you English. Are a bunch of troubled inner city youths. All you know is shoot gun, fail test, and crime. But I'm here to teach you that actually books and reading and stuff are actually pretty. That's epic freedom, brother. After all. Ooh. Now, the earliest known written language is what, Mr. Single Parent Household? I don't know, teach, but you're never gonna get through to me. Oh, really? Well, what if I go back in time? Whoa. Back in time. Oh, in the long, the long ago, very few could read. But to be fair, most of the written languages were kind of shit. This yeah, is what the, fuck is this? the very first written language, and it has far too much punctuation. Then eventually came along the Egyptians, and they invented emojis, but they would call them hieroglyphs. It's like anyway, calling the them NPCs. Thing would go like this: a uh, message for you, sir. Big bird, man with stick, man. Wait, thing if would go Egypt like this. was like uh, this, I gotta you. get in there again. Like, what the fuck? Holy! Yeah. Big bird, man with stick, man sitting, circle. Oh, more bills. I know where this is going. Da, 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 da. Eventually, that became quite annoying. So the Phoenicians, who were a kind of Lebanese, hmm, very progressive, especially for those days. Now, they came up with a better idea. They started going, ah. <laughs> that sounds a bit like an A. Mm -hmm. Buh. That sounds oh. a bit like a B. Cool. And so on and so on. Until we had a proto The third word in the, like, the English... In the world was <laughs> the alphabet. No, I don't want to say. Now the Greeks thought that was pretty neato, but they said, "Let's come up with an even better version with twenty-two letters, and soon that will be like English." Oh, oral history. Oh, oh, Greeks yeah. more like geeks. Oh, got them. That makes sense. Oh yeah. But well, let me tell you about uh, something, dude. I have a funny thing to say. There is this stream, and. This streamer doesn't add how see emotes. And at the moment, there's a very common thing with cat emotes being uh buh duh duh. And we had a lot of them, and people just kept spamming all of the emotes. So he got pissed because he could only see uh, buh, guh in chat. Everyone was just saying that random, like, duh, all the time. He didn't understand at all what the fuck was happening. Highly relatable. <laughs> of the surviving Greek works, the greatest hits were the Iliad and the Odyssey. Now, because most people couldn't read, hey, hey, this stuff wasn't written down for a very long time. And instead, it was memorized and performed. And when they performed it, they used one of these. Do you mean Asmund? I mean Asmund. Now, this was great. For it doesn't have 7 tone, TV right? or so he is a soft at all. You know, it's a third party thing. These things happen. Now, the Iliad starts with this guy, Menelaus. Ooh, king of what is Sparta. Chad? And he has a wife. King of Sparta. Helen, and she is a very... You gotta stop Fine with this, lady. man. And then the Prince of Troy shows up. His name is Paris. And he goes, damn shorty. A wooga, a wooga. Hey, hey. Wait, he got fell in love with his mom? What the fuck? What did say? Right? And he and his boys abduct her and took her all the way back to his crib in Troy. Huh? Now this makes Menelaus quite miffed. Hey, hey, 
Hold on there, Buster. He declares a turf war, but he can't win yeah, it alone. Yeah, it was Asmin. So he calls on his Asmin got angry. Odysseus, <laughs> king of Ithaca, and Achilles, the best drive-by shooter of all time. Wooga. But Achilles is not in the mood to fight. <laughs> How do you think... Bro, imagine a girl comes up to you and says, Damn, shawty, you looking hot. Awooga, awooga, mama mia. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's the, that's the play. The whole of the Iliad is basically I fucking die to laughing. To get Holy involved. shit. Please? No. Please? No. Eventually, they win the turf war by being very sneaky. They make a giant horse, which is the symbol of Troy, and they leave it at the front gate. That's their way of saying, oh, I guess you win. We're walking away now. And meanwhile, thousands of soldiers go off and hide in some bushes. And the Trojans are very suspicious, but they can see that the Greek ships are actually sailing away into the horizon. They just so bait them so hard. No, must be real, must be real. We've won, we've won the many years war. But actually, there's almost no one on those ships, and there's a surprise inside the horse. Later that night, when everyone's asleep, psh, boiling hot satsiki everywhere. And also some soldiers wearing thermal protection, they get out and they open the gates, and then everyone comes out of the bushes, running into the city, and kill everybody. After they win the war, Odysseus heads back home to Ithaca. However, on his way, he starts making beef with Poseidon, <laughs> god of the sea. And Poseidon is mad. You Odysseus fucking bitch! <laughs> Dude, that would be funny. I wonder how many people throughout the time were like pissed off at Poseidon and just talking to the ocean. Just like screaming insult for days and hours to the ocean. Respect. So he sends Odysseus on a long ass detour. And that detour is the story of the Odyssey. Hmm. Pretty epic, right kids? No. Whoa, Tish, that's fire. I'm starting to come around. That Odysseus guy is literally me. Yeah, I'm gonna try that horse trick on my ops. Homer from Homer's Odyssey is not a character in the story. What, He's the Poseidon, guy who tells more like the story and the people write it down. Now moving chronologically to the next big one, you've got the Bible. And for all practical purposes, this was basically an Ooh. oral tradition too. Most people were illiterate by this point, and the Bible was written in Latin. And pretty much only the clergy knew Latin, so they would be the one to recite it to people. It says that the cute lady at the front should go on a date with me, please. Listen, the rules are the rules I didn't say at the book did. There was a translated version into English, the Wycliffe's Bible. And you better believe that thing was a threat to the order. So they made that illegal to own. What? And if you were found with an unlicensed copy, the punishment would be death. Based. So it remained. The Bible was read to the people. Now, by the 1300s came Chaucer, who wrote the... There, there's something funny about, like, Christianity, the Bible. Like when preachers came up to Norway to tell them about the Bible and shit like that, they had a big of a struggle because everyone's like, what the fuck is this shit? Who gives a damn? I, I, think, about, I think about other things, you know? They didn't give a shit about that. So what the, what the preachers started doing is that they created Christmas and a lot of other things like in uh around december that's the darkest time in norway right so you had we had like these hol we had these holidays times to keep everybody cheerful and happy because it's the darkest time uh it's very it's there's it's very sad and everything so we had this christmas we had this christmasy event thingy but then these preachers started like correlating them that the christmas is a part of uh, jesus and christianity and stuff like that and somehow they managed to mix that together and other things that were related to norwegian traditions so people were just like oh yeah fuck it i, be I believe it now uh, people were dumb back then holy was a fuck pretty big deal <laughs> get this book now because it's one of the first significant works written in middle english it describes a bunch of people making a pilgrimage from Southern oh, yeah, he didn't go through to that Canterbury, which is here to here, which was the longest journey anyone had ever made in the 1300s. 
That is no, not it's a true. whole series of stories, and most of them can be boiled down to how come if everyone is on a pilgrimage, you're all so focused on material stuff? Oh, hypocrites much? <laughs> Dong. <laughs> It's now the 1600s, wow. and they've updated all the textbooks from Middle English to regular. In 1601, King James I said, All right, you know what? Let's everyone have a copy of the Bible they can read. Let's do a King James Bible. I won't feature in it, but I'd love to be in the title. And he commissioned a committee of scholars to rewrite the thing in English. God's language. Now I can't speak Spanish or anything. It took eight years. And that brings us to Shakespeare, and he's a huge deal. Oh, look, we're out of time. Oh, oh, but sir, oh, but sir, we're supposed to do penis inspection day today. No, it's an important no, day. No time. Calm as that. End, Calm as that. The end. All right, that's the lesson. You watched the whole video, or at least you had it on in the background while you scrolled your phone. And I couldn't be prouder of you. There's Thank just you. one more quick thing I want to tell you about. Theater props. For example, this gun. Now, the thing... Oh, look who it is. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but it's just an actor. We all know that the real Lincoln is dead. Well, you know, when he fell asleep on the tracks of the Underground Railroad. Anyway, this thing's super realistic. Although the trigger is a little loose. Right, right. I mean, that's how he died, yeah. Oh, I can't believe you did that. But I won't tell anyone. And, uh, you know, in fact, good news. I'm going to make you my little protege. And I will be your protojo. <laughs> and I got so many more lessons to teach. Thank you, teach. Still here, huh? Yes, yeah, just a little cleaning. More good news. Next video is almost done. It'll be oh. on incognito mode, and it's about the art. What? The next main channel Go. video is also nearly done. That'll be out shortly after. If you're looking for more content in the meanwhile, we Two have another videos soon. story mode. The Metal Gear Solid and Forspoken videos are especially good. Don't forget NordVPN. Thank you for watching. We might check more out soon. those videos one day. That sounds fun. That was a good ass video. I had fun. I thought that was hell of fun. What do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed that. That was I, I I like that. I don't know. Internet historian videos is always filled with like random humor, and I I'm always I'm always for it. That's a good one. Ooh, that is a bit of a situation. Internet Arna. You know what? We might actually check out these videos sometime. Sometime.